these are the jeans that I used to wear at my heaviest and they were tight. I'm Jamie, I'm 38, I'm from Long Island, New York, and I lost 220 pounds. I went away to college and uh, went kind of crazy. Like, you know, you're out there, you're exposed to all different foods. They call it freshman 15, it was more like freshman 75 for me. I was probably 22, 23 years old when I started really gaining a lot, a lot of weight. Had a really sedentary lifestyle, not a lot of exercise, and I was just at a point in my life I was very unhappy and food really comforted me. My highest weight was 437 pounds. My gynecologist found some cysts on my ovaries. I came in a week later and he said, you are pre-diabetic and you have PCOS. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome and your body stops producing estrogen and starts producing more testosterone due to the morbid obesity. And it, I started to grow this facial hair. When I got the referral for weight loss surgery, I was thinking it was a quick fix. You go there, they're gonna cut me open. I'm gonna wake up skinny. I walked out of there knowing weight loss surgery is scary and it's not a quick fix. I said, that's it, like I have to start like exercising. So I was like, I'm gonna take a walk. I get down the driveway and my legs start to really pound, then my knees. And then I get to the end of the driveway, then my back. I only made it to the stop sign, which was maybe 250 feet from the driveway. I realized I had to make a change. I started really moving into the ketogenic lifestyle, which is elimination of sugars, keeping your carbohydrates under 20 grams a day, uh, no bread, no grains. I really stuck to mostly protein and vegetables. And uh, I started intermittent fasting as well. I lost 50 pounds every three months. Once I started to lose this weight, start to feel comfortable with like what I was wearing and making me feel more confident and not have to cover myself up anymore. Little foundation, I don't know. I never know if it's even enough. I grew up like a tomboy and I never wore makeup. It takes a lot of practice, I'm still practicing. I really don't know what I'm doing. This makeover, it's just gonna take me to like next level Jamie. For a long time, I was in the shadows. I was invisible. And now, I'm stepping into the light. I'm sure Jamie especially would like to see what Jamie looks like now. So come on out, Jamie! is so hot, right? Yeah! Yay! 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 Turn it on! Oh my god, you That's look so her beautiful! You don't even cool. look like me! <laughs> but that hair! Do you love that color? It's so cool! I love it. I love everything they did. I just feel so incredible, amazing. Like, this is... I work you so hard for this. You deserve it! You I work so, so hard! hard. Yeah. So we have to start, obviously this is head to toe, like it always is, but so Spoken Wheel, I have to give a big shout out to their salon and to Amazing. the team. They did the hair for me this time, and we talked like early AM and had a total jam session. As you can see, she has gorgeous hair, but what I really wanted to do, the whole idea and theme around Jamie, it's not just another makeover. She's totally health focused, and she's focused on the inside, so everything we did in this makeover, Rachel, Rachel has a purpose, because the purpose is to make her be wash and wear. And so with the hair, they added all these natural highlights, you know, took her dark really brown hair. It just like the sun lightened and your hair. And it will be low maintenance. She'll only Very have to cool. touch this up once or twice a year. And then the cut, I mean, we really had to have, like sometimes we have to have a heart to heart. I was like, you have gorgeous hair. But with all that hair hanging over your body, again, it's a means in which to cover it's her. It's hiding you. And yeah. you know, I wanted her to enjoy sexy hair. It's gotta go up in a ponytail. She works out all the time. And she doesn't wanna have to sit there and be, you know, she doesn't want to labor over Adorable. it. Adorable. So that's why they had to come off. And then, of course, we had to go with the eyelashes and brows. The eyelashes and brows were really the focal point. Again, because in some respects, it's really less about the makeup this time. We did a very light makeup with our glam team. She at, looks which is very incredible. chic and not overly made up. But those brows but how, and lashes. I mean, all right, so as wow. I said, Clementina, <laughs> Richards, Clementina Richardson, okay, celebrity lash and brow She's expert. She's amazing. And founder of Envious Lashes, hooked Jamie up with those <laughs> lashes and brows, which are amazing. 